this next one, gentlemen and ladies, uh, could be any grip, because I will introduce more grips and stuff, is small over principle, and that's what I call double pump. Could be triple pump. Let me explain what I mean. So sometimes we're playing, and I know this guy is strong, right? I, I feel his strength, I feel his grips. It's generally in a grappling match, once you lock up grips, that you can grab it. You know what he's worth within five seconds of after grip exchange, right guys? And sometimes like I move him and I know the guy is not moving well, meaning, meaning the opposite. He moves too well and he's very sturdy, right? So sometimes I know if I go here into my society, yes, he's going to be grounded or rooted to the ground and at best he's going to be shinted, right? I don't want to hit David, not yet, unless it's kind of thumb, right? So what I will do, I will apply the double pop. So my first technical action is just Kazushi done with as much force as possible, right? So what I'll do, I'll step in, I'll pull him, and then on the second try, I will apply my move. The trick, however, to get your partner going even a little bit, the more he moves, the better. And number two, you want to throw your actual technical action right under the setup. So what I'm saying, if it looks like this, one Mississippi, and then I try to swoop, it's not going to work. I want to yank him, and a second pop is the actual action. Uh, actual throw. So one, two, just like that. Double pop. Right guys, make sure you sweep him before he comes to complete halt. Then you're going to be working against inertia, right? You have to break it again. So for as long as he keeps coming, boop, and then you hit him. Okay guys, double pop. And again, that particular principle could be applied with many other takedowns. It just fits very well with society. Alright guys, double pop society could be done with any setup and any grip is just the principle.